Since last fall, the Vancouver Park Board has partnered with well over 50 artists to rethink and repurpose vacant field houses in 13 parks across the city in exchange for volunteer hours engaging the community. Once home to park caretakers, the field houses are now home to a variety of artists working on projects ranging from paintings to puppetry, music to maps, and comics to kickball. We've got artists, you know, really are really established artists, and then we have newcomer artists groups, and there's, um, you know, uh, artist collectives in some of them, and some of them have musicians, so it's really, really diverse, the range of artists. The Bird Project occupies the field house in Queen Elizabeth Park. Like many field houses, theirs is hidden in plain sight next to the Pitch and Putt building and across from a dog park and tennis court, and isn't listed on the park's maps. The Bird Project is a duo using art and workshops to raise awareness about the impact cities have on birds and the ecosystem as a whole, with a focus on the millions of birds that die annually after hitting windows. Through pieces that we do, uh, that we exhibit, we try to use humor or irony uh, so can people can engage with those pieces, but through workshops as well, where people make their own art. So we've been looking through popular culture, references, art history, uh, literature, uh, and just looking at it, it, are there interesting relationships between birds and houses and birds and built environments, uh, whether they're fictional or, or real. So this particular house is based on uh, the Psycho House. For Garb and Reich Savoie, having the field house has been a blessing that has enabled them to work on more projects than they previously could operating out of the couple's apartment. So now this is nice because we have, um, you know, two space. We go home and then we go to work. So the, it has that break that's really nice, um, mental break. We switch between the two modes. That's been really helpful. Park Board Chair Sarah Blythe says the cost of the field house project to the city is minimal and the 365 volunteer hours each group contributes in exchange for the space and electricity far outweigh the costs. Every way that we can get people into our parks and engaging each other in different ways is just, you know, that's what you know, we're, we're there for. For Langara News, I'm Carissa Thorpe.